The end amigos. A judge could possibly throw the book at him and send him to prison for 12 years. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Is one of the biggest rap groups coming to an end? Be sure to like the video and subscribe to King Trending. Number six, Amigos came to be. Rap group. Okay. Yeah, everybody tried to rap, but we just, you know what I'm saying, just distinguished it, you know what I'm saying, just kept it, kept it tight. We're going to be talking about the fall of Migos. It's only fair to talk about how they got their rise to fame. And it really isn't a typical rap group story. After all, it used to be that rap groups were the best way to break into the industry. Oh, but now people prefer solo acts, which makes sense given Drake, Eminem, Kanye, Nicki Minaj, and many other successes on the solo circuit. So if you want to stand out, you need to be good and have a really great connection with members in your group. And that's exactly what Migos did. The group is comprised of three guys, Takeoff, Offset, and Quavo. One thing that really made them stand out to everyone is that they're literally family. Not brothers, though. Quavo is Takeoff's uncle and Offset said as Quavo's cousin. Like I said, not your typical rap group story. However, like many rap groups, they find their way into the world. And to that extent, they weren't Migos at first. They were actually Polo Club. This was early in the early parts of their career on the streets of Atlanta, where they grew up. Migos came later on, as did their connection to the manager, Coach K. And under that name, they made their first mixtape in 2011, the true beginning of their journey. Later in 2013, they made a single called Versace. It wasn't the biggest hit ever, but it did crack into the top 100 at number 99. The song also helped them break through in an offhand way, as Drake himself heard the song, liked it, and remixed it and sang it all over the world. That's a big endorsement as Drake was riding high in his own fame at the time. Using that momentum, they released a mixtape called YRN, which had Versace on it, and got a lot of acclaim for that particular track. This was the true start of their fame, and with that fame, the chance to perform in more places, including televised events. After dabbling in some more mixtapes, they went bigger and eventually released their official studio album, Culture and Culture 2, which not only had their own music, but collaborations with Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, among others. To this day, these are still their best-selling items. Both of them went number one on the Billboard Top 200, and Culture 2 did even better than the original. And as with great musical acts, Migos got music nominations, including some Grammy nominations and even won some BET awards for their music. So when you look at them from an accolade standpoint, they seem to be doing pretty well. And yet the group was on the verge of falling apart, and for many reasons, which can be attributed to them. Number five, incarceration. Then what it seemed because of who we are. I had to stay in there because I went, um, the DA wasn't giving me no bomb because of my history on my record. The biggest reason by far that Migos might be ending is that one of their own members might be going to jail real soon. That member was offset, and his potential sentence is very substantial. To understand what's going on right now, you need to go back to the previous charge. In July of 2018, not long after his daughter Culture was born, Offset was pulled over by the police in Atlanta, Georgia. The reason for the stopping was having illegally tinted windows. The police searched the car after pulling him over, and not only did they find an illegal substance, but they also found a firearm. Offset was charged with two felonies, including illegal possession of a firearm and having a firearm while doing another crime. Very serious charges, but he pled not guilty and was able to make bail to get out of there. Now his day in court is coming, very soon in fact, and a recent appearance to help set things up also revealed the penalties for the crime, specifically Offset being in prison for the next 12 years. Focusing on the felony weapon possession charge, the simplest scenario is that if Offset is indeed a convicted felon, if he did receive, transport, or possess a weapon, and if this is his first time doing so as a convicted felon, he could face a 1-10 to 10 year sentence that may or may not include prison time. The judge can impose a fine up to $100,000, criminal defense attorney Alan J. Levine told HollywoodLife.com. The two other charges of illegally changing lanes, as well as possessing an illegal substance, also carry a one-year sentence and $1,000 each, as the rapper prepared to appear in court in May. Still, Offset's lawyers believe he won't get jail time at all. Jail is not imminent, he continued. Even if he were sentenced for the felony gun possession, the judge has the discretion to probate or suspend Offset's sentence. You might think that this is a harsh punishment for a single crime, but if you look at Offset's record, you'll see that he's committed various other crimes across the many years, including one that put him on probation for five years, which is what he violated violated through the possession charges. So how likely is Offset's sentence of 12 years likely to happen? Depending on who you talk to, there are many technical ways for Offset to get out of this predicament that he finds himself in, including a plea deal, reminiscent of 6ix9ine in this situation in jail right now. The question of jail time of any amount, though, is one that's going to be haunting Offset for a bit. All should be revealed soon as his May court date looms even closer. Number 4. Where's the music? One of the biggest reasons that Migos is possibly ending isn't a legal battle. Though there's a part of it you'll see on later on, but rather the fact that when it comes to their music, music, they haven't been making much together. They released Culture 2, the second official album, in January of 2018. And there's no words of when Culture 3 is supposed to come out officially, and they'll claim it'll be early 2019. But the world is still turning, and it's getting even closer to the halfway point of 2019. And there's still no word on Culture 3 or any significant Migos music projects. So while it's fair to give Migos the space they need in order to make their music, taking long and far too long can harm their careers. In this day and age where rappers can upload their music at any time with services like 
SoundCloud and other rappers are doing tracks within the span of a few weeks like diss tracks, it's really sad to see that Migos isn't releasing any new tracks or even just singles to tie fans over until Culture 3 comes out. Sure, they've been touring, but you can't just keep on touring on your songs that your mixtapes and your first two albums had. Eventually, people will want more. And if they can't get more, well, that will possibly lead to a breakup. Plus, many Migos members are releasing their own tracks in single form, as in single rappers, not part of the group. And so Offset had a recent big release called Cloud that featured his wife Cardi B with him. Quavo and Takeoff have done similar things since Culture 2 dropped, and when the group's starting to go off and do things solo, the writing can be seen on the wall. Number three, Battle for Rap Fame. The key you said, the key said, said, said well, man. Y'all wanna see what the key said look like? Yeah, show me what the key said look like. Well, boom! You could argue that the rap world right now has never been in more of a flux. Because while many of the stalwarts are still making their claim to the genre, like Drake and Eminem, there are still plenty of young rappers to the rise to try and take over. Sure, as Lil Nas X is one of the biggest at the moment right now with his song Old Town Road, and while Migos is one of the most paid groups out there in the world right now, that doesn't mean they're going to last. The internet and social media are giving young rappers the chance to be what they want to be. Sure, they may not have the record labels yet, but with SoundCloud, YouTube, Twitter, and much more, they can build a following and make a claim. And even even rappers from the past are coming back to make their own claim on the rap world. And where was Migos throughout all of this? Doing their own thing, not releasing their own things. The music industry is now one to be underestimated, and you can be on top for one year and then never make it back in that position again. And then there are those who fight for every album to be perfect and are often rewarded with that fame and fortune that they desire. Like Drake, who dominated 2018 because of his dedication to his music, which is a dedication that Migos seem to be lacking. So that begs the question, if they're not focusing on making music, then what are they exactly focused on? The easy answer to that is themselves, and by extension, their relationships, one of which has been dominating the headlines and pulling attention towards one of the members, Amigos, and not the rest. Number two, Offset and Cardi B. I just want to tell you I'm sorry, bro. The person. As noted, each of the Migos members have been in their own little worlds for the last year or so, and for Offset, that little world has been bigger in both the right and wrong way. Offset married Cardi B, the queen of rap in some people's eyes, in 2017. This marriage eventually led to a child named Culture. Everything seemed to be going great until Cardi B suddenly announced that she and Offset were separating as a couple, citing that they had tried to work it out but couldn't. Or at least that was what was claimed in the video that this message was delivered in. Being one of the biggest couples on rap, this was one of the biggest deals in the new circuit, as the separation was sudden. And and past stories about Offset's infidelity and other aspects seemed to make it all the more compelling, except to those who felt that the breakup wasn't what it appeared to be. Sure enough, despite the numerous stories talking about how Cardi B and Offset were apart, they kept appearing with each other in random and sometimes very staged ways. And one time, they were caught in Puerto Rico on a jet ski together, which you wouldn't be doing if you were separated, right? The hoax was basically up, and this led to their appearance at the Grammys together, and even a dedication by Cardi B to her husband after winning an award. Which leads to the obvious question, what was this all for? The simple answer is fame and attention. Cardi B is one of the biggest solo acts out there in the world right now, and Offset clearly wanted to have some of that for himself. So with his wife's help, they decided to create a story that would have boosted their brands and give them even more attention. And to that end, it worked. But if Offset was more concerned about making music with Migos, would he have done this? No, not likely, as Takeoff and Quavo would have seen this as an insult of the highest order and would have told him not to do so. Sorry guys, I guess that didn't really work out. And so, in most group splits, it's usually one member who makes a bold move to try and get their solo career started, and it looks like that's happening right here. Number 1. Mumble Rapping Rap, like any other music genre, is one of layers. Mainly, there are those who use rap's intensity to bust out big lyrical pieces, others use the beat for their own unique style and feel. For Migos, they have a very distinct type of rapping, and they have been both praised and criticized for it. They have a knack for throwing in random words to the beat and making it sound cool, to the right listeners, of course. This is known as mumble rap, and this is one of the biggest controversies in the rap genre right now. Many legends of the rap game are against mumble rap, including Eminem, who is a hardcore believer in what rap should be. Words with meaning over words that mimic a beat. During his return album, Kamikaze, he dropped the line mocking how Migos does their music, and he's really not alone in dissing them about their style. Usually one man's words or feelings on a subject isn't important, but there is more depth to this than you might think. Migos are known for mumble rap, and it's part of what made them famous, but if they don't think they can keep up with the level of quality that they know they can make and their fans like, it might be the reason for their large break. This is a common part of the music world, sadly enough, as many groups or solo acts can't keep making the music that brought them the fame that they earned. And with mumble rap on their fire from many in the industry, they may feel that it's time to break up and go to more lucrative or sustainable rap careers. That is, if they're able to take the chance to do that at all. So, there you have it. Some reasons why Migos may be at the end of their group careers. So do you think that the split will happen soon? Will Offset be the cause of it? Also, what will happen to Quavo and Takeoff if they do split? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on King Trending.
A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.